Okay. Before I begin, I would like to address that yes, the troll, big bad blaze slash legendary blaze slash legendary ass clown, whatever the hell you want to call him, is back and trolling my comments. But don't worry, I blocked every single one of his accounts and reported them, so I don't really care what he says about me anymore. I'm just going to block every one of his accounts, and yeah, so whatever. So anyways, this is going to be a review on Descendants Milo Goes to College, and I listened to this, I think, last year in its entirety, and I must say, it was actually really good, and this came out in 1982, when um, Punk had just been started, well, revolutionized, anyway. In 1976, 77, when the Ramones and Sex Pistols were around, and they made it big. And then Descendants came around and kind of sparked up a few other things in the genre. Like, they s pretty much started hardcore punk, like, they got it into the uh, mainstream at least, and yeah, so there are lots of tracks on this album about teen angst and um, living in a suburban home and basically being on the streets. There was a few songs about that. There was Suburban Home and Bike Edge, which was about living on the streets. And yeah, so I really enjoyed this album. This, this is probably one of my favorite Descendants albums, I must say, for many reasons. And um, it definitely is the most... Uh, angst sounding kind of which I can kind of relate to since I'm 16 myself and um yeah so this was basically centered around like really fast riffs and everything you know their guitar is pretty much like you know downstrokes a lot and I can I must imagine like that must hurt after a while and there's a few people on some interviews I watched that even were talking about that and everything and that was like yeah, I can see that. So, this album was definitely a hit. This and the next few albums were definitely really good. Probably the best of Descendants, I would say. And I've always been a big fan of the Descendants. I definitely do enjoy pretty much every one of their albums. Even uh, the stuff like Enjoy, which wasn't really the best in production quality, I did enjoy. I did enjoy Milo Goes to College a lot because of the uh, messages it centered around and the uh, riffs, and especially the one in Suburban Home, the riff in that is just really good. And it's like, once that comes on, it's like, let's get going, man. You know, let's get up and like, just run. Just like, full of energy and everything. Like, a lot of this album is. And of course there was Hope too, which was about um, a guy hoping someday that he'd be you get that girl that um, has a boyfriend already and yeah so there's many covers of this album too there's many other bands and covers of, the, of songs from this album since this album was really revolutionary at the time and pretty much um, inspired a lot of other bands like if you look uh, if you look it up Descendants actually inspired a lot of other bands and they're definitely really revolutionary, kind of like the Ramones too, on Sax Pistols, and um, Black Flag, they're all really revolutionary bands, and definitely some classics, and Descendants is no exception for that. They've definitely released some really good material, especially in like the 80s and 90s era. Um, up to like Everything Sucks, those are like the best albums in my opinion, this is probably my favorite though. Because it pretty much hit the point perfectly. And it totally makes me feel the moment every time I listen to this album. And this is definitely, like, one of my favorite punk albums of all time, too. And there's a few others I will talk about that I will review in the future. That I will, you know, talk about that are my favorite ones of all time. And um, there's one by Screeching Weasel, too. There's, um, Dude Ranch by Blink-182. That was definitely one of my favorites. And, um... Definitely a classic for me. And yeah, so I give this album a let's say 4.7 out of 5. This album was like almost perfect, pretty much. And yeah, if you haven't listened to Descendants at all, I definitely recommend checking out this one first. 
because this is definitely one of the best Descendants albums in my opinion. And definitely check it out. So, yeah, guys. I'll do more reviews in the future. And, yeah. So, subscribe for more content. Follow my Twitter for video updates. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.